I'm Sue Cowley. In this programme, I'll be looking at what can happen to children's behaviour when you take them out of the classroom. Simon says, reach the ceiling, please. Simon says, lie down on your back. Baz Barrett has been teaching at Ward End Primary School for two years, and he's used to dealing with some challenging behaviour. But we're going to follow him and his Year 3 class as he sets them free from the confines of the classroom for a PE lesson in their large school hall. They're very excited at the start of a PE lesson. It's also something that's very worrying for a new teacher because it, it can be so dangerous. Later on in the programme, I'll be discussing with Baz what went on in his PE lesson and I'll be offering him some strategies to manage his class out of the classroom. But first, we're going to join Baz and his class as they get ready to enjoy some PE. Right, when we get to the hall, here's the deal. You take your shoes off, you take your socks off, and you put them near the wall bars like last week. Anybody who can't do that can come back and get changed again. Sophia, could you read the learning objective nice and loud for me? Body shape and balances. To improve body shape and balances. We're going to improve the shapes that our bodies are making and we're going to improve and think of loads of ways of balancing using our apparatus. Okay? Right, I'm just going to go over four rules for PE. Four rules. Can anyone tell me my first rule, please? Right? Look where you're going. Look where you're going. Use your eyes. Listen. What PE rule were you breaking then? Do be, do be safe. Were you being safe? No, you weren't, were you? You came here and in. Go and sensibly walk over there and get those shoes off. One, two, three, four. Five, stop, breeze. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, sit down again. Stand up. Oh, very good. Five, you're out. Right, Haroon, Azar, Manuel, Adam, what happens when I blow the whistle? Oh dear. Who's going to get interesting apparatus? Who's going to get the normal boring apparatus? Right, Daniel's group, you can just wait. This group in the middle, come and get a mat. Four of you. Fired's group, another mat. No! Back! Everybody, sit down, please. Right, can anybody tell me what Fires Group did wrong then? Charlotte? They ran all the way across. I know they were excited, but you don't do that. That's unsafe, isn't it? And you're breaking one of the PE rules. Can I see Haroon's April's and Michael's and Zara's, please. The rest of you move away from your equipment. Can I also see Fired's, please? Solomon, move! You are not listening to what I'm saying and you are sat on your apparatus. What if Fired came rolling down the bench and hit you? You wouldn't be happy then, would you? You've got to listen, young man. One week on, and Baz Barrett has escaped from school to discuss with me what happened when he let his year threes out of the classroom. So, Baz, how often do you actually have to take the class out into an open area for um, PE, that sort of thing? Twice a week for PE, yeah. once a week to the ICT suite, and then the occasional school trip. Is that an area where you say you feel uncomfortable? Yeah, I do. Mainly for health and safety reasons and um, for behaviour reasons as well when they go out to another room, another place, it's really exciting and then yeah. all hell is let loose. OK, let's have a look at what happens when they're on the carpet then. Great. Sophia, could you read the learning objective nice and loud for me? To improve body shape and balances. To improve body shape and balances. We're going to improve the shapes that our bodies are making 
and we're going to improve and think of loads of ways of balancing using our apparatus. Excuse me, I'm doing the talking now. OK, there's quite a lot of the time I've noticed in mm. some of your time in the classroom where you are doing the talking. Yes. Ask them, OK, what are we going to do? What do we mean by balance? Mm. What do we mean by body shape? OK, everybody, make an interesting body shape on the carpet. Mm. It's quite static at this point in the yeah, lesson. Yeah. How are the children feeling at this point? They're really excited and they want to get to the hall and yeah, get on with it. They want to get going. Give them this sense that, you know, things are starting to move on yeah. now and start to encourage them the to bit, sort of, yeah, pick up the pace up a little bit. Put your hand up, please. Uh, safely. Manuel, come here. Come here. Oh dear. Pardon? What PE rule were you breaking then? OK, what happens there? Tell me about that. Uh, I think they all came rushing into the hall. I wasn't in there. I was just going in and they all went skidding down. And, and what had that. Manuel actually done? Manuel had done the same as everybody else and had head down the middle of the hall and... Uh... You have to strike a balance. Although safety is really crucial, you can't spend the whole time picking on little things with individuals. What you need to do is have a sense of the class as a whole. Yeah by focusing on Manuel at that point, mm. you'd kind of miss that moment. Before they even go to the hall, I'd advise you to actually have some sort of way of gathering them. Yeah. Simon says, reach the ceiling, please. Touch that ceiling, please. Simon says, lie down on your back. Now, that was going really well. I know, yeah. I would have done that for at least three, four, five minutes. Yeah, OK. And the other thing I would have tried is getting one of the children to come and be the person doing Simon Says. Use that as a kind of reward system. Excuse me. What happens when I blow this whistle? You're making this classic mistake. Um, what happens when I blow this? What are you supposed to do? And then I answer the question myself. Yes, yeah. repeated rhetorical questions. And you're kind of nagging at them, and you don't want them to answer, no. do you? Into no. groups of three, please. Into groups of three. Can I give you a tip for getting them into groups? If you have a gathering point of a circle, OK, so that is always your gathering way in PE. Mm. Yeah, it's a really nice control mechanism. What you do is you work out how many you want in each group, and then they just literally count round the circle. So the first child says one, mm. then two, three, four, five, six. Right. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. All the ones, raise yeah. your hands, you're a group mm. over there. I'd be a little bit worried that some children, some boys especially, would um, push the girls out and, and get in the group that they want to be in. You're absolutely right, they may well try that, but your role as teacher is mm. to say, no, when I set a group, you go in that group. And if you have an expectation that they will do it and there will be no fuss, mm. then they probably won't think to fuss. Right, that was group, you can just wait. This group in the middle, coming in for that. The children have to learn how to take their equipment out safely. Good. Just to get them to show some responsibility for their apparatus. OK, how about when you want them to get the mats out, you have some volunteers mm. who are being rewarded by being given this very adult task right. to set up the mats and the equipment, mm. OK? Meanwhile, you keep the rest of them occupied. And as they get the apparatus out without me watching or... Just... Yeah, or with you keeping half an eye on them. Yeah, that would make... Things are a lot pacier. Everybody sit down, please. Everybody sit down, please. Michael, it's for your safety. Now, you used time out during yeah. this lesson. Can you talk to me about that? And then one boy was being what I deemed to be unsafe. Right. Um, and I couldn't think of anything else to do other than stop his PE lesson, give him some time out for two, three minutes. Right. If you're going to use a sanction, like timeout, mm. the children need to know ahead of time, right. OK? Because then you can say to them in the context of the lesson, mm. look, you know the rule, if you're unsafe, you sit out. What happens if you're yeah. unsafe? What happens if you're unsafe? I sit out for two mm. minutes, sir. Another alternative might be to give them timeout during break, something that actually... Yeah. I did... Right, this is where you... I did keep him at break time, I think. OK. If you can't listen to my instructions, you can't do what I ask you to do. You're being unsafe. Do you know what happens if you're unsafe in PE? What do you think would happen if someone got hurt? That wouldn't be very nice, would it? No, it would not. Right. I'm sorry I have to take break time away. It sounds really, really unfair, doesn't it? Make him talk yeah. and make him understand that you are not happy. You've got to earn that trust back. Can you do that for me? 
Okay. It's almost like putting on a bit of a show. You need to kind of put on this show. Michael, and it comes in the eyes, I am not... Give it, give it a try, go on. I'm Michael, right, right, talk to me. Tell me up. Michael, I'm not happy. No, no. Michael, I am not happy... Slow it down, yeah? Okay. Emphasis on the words, off you go. Michael, I am not happy with what you did in your PE lesson. And what did you do wrong? Uh, don't know, sir. Right, have a little think. What did you do wrong? Um, I was unsafe. I hit somebody, sir. You hit somebody. And what happens when you hit somebody? Um, you tell me off, sir. You tell me what happens when you hit somebody. It's not nice. What's going to happen to you now? You can keep me in at break, sir. Exactly. OK. Now, do you see the difference? I think you can even be slightly firmer. Mm. Not nastier, but just no, a but bit... No, but just a bit firmer and a bit... Yeah. Get, give it the eyes, yeah? Mm. Do, do a deadly stare at me. Go on. That's good. That's better. Well, it's a real eye-opener, actually, um, watching yourself, cos usually at the end of a lesson, you don't really have enough time to think about... Yeah, to reflect on no. it. Can you think of some things that you actually want to work on out of all the stuff that okay. I've talked about? Um, well, you said about pace and about keeping the children active. OK. That's one thing I'll focus on. Brilliant. Um, I'll focus on um, using the circle as a sort of come together and splitting them up into groups. From the circle, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the third one would be letting the children know what the consequences are if they mess about. And, and, sort, of and sort of checking of, that they understand yeah. that by... Yes, yeah. Drawing them out, like particularly them to one speak, to one. Rather than me yeah, yeah. dictating. OK, yeah. brilliant. Okay. It's always tricky taking children out of the classroom, so I've come back to see how Baz has managed in the big space of the hall. Almost a smashing circle. Well done, you did well. We'll start with Khadija. Say number one for me. And we're going to go all the way to number five. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. OK, can I have one stand up, please? <laughs> OK, one more shoes over here. OK, which group shall I choose to do the jobs? Let's have a look. I'll choose... I'm going to choose this group here. OK, what I would like, two mats here, two mats here, two mats here. <laughs> Simon says, freeze. Simon says, come closer, Manuel. Simon says, jump up and down, touch the ceiling. As high as you can go. I'll choose somebody in a minute. Simon says, run on the spot for five seconds. Charlotte, stand up on this bench. You lead the Simon says for me, off you go. So, well done, Baz. You seem a lot more confident in this open space now. Where do you think you've really improved? Just in confidence, basically, in having the confidence to let the children experiment and use the space. And having that organisation, I think, as well, where mm. they come into the circle, yeah. gives you the freedom. Yes, I think so, yeah. Fantastic. Well, really well done for making those improvements. So, taking children out of the classroom and into an open space such as the hall doesn't have to be a time for inappropriate behaviour. So long as you keep the lesson moving, but you set those ground rules, you can enjoy some really active learning.